Hello everyone and welcome to GFTL. I'm Josh, your host, and I thought I'd just play This Precious Land. It was a uh, Ludum Dare 23 game, and I, I've just discovered it. And basically, learn the workings of nature and make us proud of this precious land. Uh, it's There's a little bit of uh, exploration, not exploration, discovery involved uh, in the first few minutes, because as you can see, I can place little squares of dirt, kind of like Minecraft. Not really. <laughs> uh, but later you will discover that if you put them next to each other, they make green bits, which um, which look nicer than brown dirt, I think. And when you put, hang on, these green bits next to each other, they make trees. So that that's kind of cool. So what happens if you put two green bits next to each other? A little bit. Um, I've done that wrong. What happens if we put two trees next to each other? It makes more trees! It's very clever like that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, pl I played this game, so I, kn I know how to do the very basic stuff. But I have been told there is a lot more to discover, and I I'm going to try and do that in this video. So, um... What, where, do I, where do I go from there? Okay, I think we need... Oh, no, I've done that wrong already. <laughs> uh, let's try. There we go, more trees. And now what we need to do is put another one of these trees right here. So it goes up uh, to make more stuff and then we will be able to do more stuff. I'm being very specific here but you'll know what I mean when you see it. <laughs> uh, so if we put brown one there, green one there, uh, make trees there. Okay all we need to do is make some trees there and then how do we do that? No, I've just, I've just got myself stuck. Okay, maybe I can be not stupid and get it right this time. Yeah, magic-y stuff in the top left there, which allows us to place green stuff like that uh, straight from the get-go by spending some magic -y stuff or trees like that from the get-go by spending magic -y stuff or what I want to do is mess around with water. It works in a very similar way to the to the trees put them next to each other tiny one like that and then oh where do I go from here make bigger, better ones, and right click to harvest, which gives you more stuff. And what I'm going to try and do is get lots of wood and hopefully stone, which I'll show you now. It all works in a very similar basic fashion, but... Um, Yes! Managed to make some dirt. And that gets you stone. So I'm going to stockpile these and see what I can do with them because I haven't been able to use these yet. I haven't unlocked the tiles to place down and see what happens with those. So. Uh, hang on. I'm going to make some more water and then. No, no I'm not. I'm just going to go straight and make more stone. More stone. There we go. Um, okay, I think it's time for trees. 
We need many more trees. So there we go, more trees, bigger trees. Oh, I buggered that one up. Uh, hmm, okay. I thought that would move on to there. No, it didn't, obviously. Hmm. <laughs> well, it looks nice. I think that's the main thing. Uh, where should we go from here? I can't afford those trees, so I am going to put grassy stuff there. Can I make bigger trees from that? Ooh, I might, I might have gotten myself stuck here. Anyway, let's make some more stone, because stone, stone, stone is something we can handle. Oh, well we could handle it if we had more stuff. There we go. Some more magic-y things. The power of nature. Stone. Totally stoned. bugger that out. I have. <laughs> uh, these two giant ones are supposed to be next to each other. Then we could have a mountain, then we could have more stone. And my uh, my little piece of land here is starting to look a little sparse. So what I want to do is try and use this. Oh no. Grow, big tree. You give me monies. I'll tell you what. We shall harvest this land make new land. There we go. More land. So this is this is pretty cool. There's a construction element, a uh, resource element. I've uh, if you look on the website, it says that there's no real end point to the game. But I think that's cool. It's absolutely fine. I've no problem with just messing around. I know I've already spent like probably half an hour playing this already. So yes, giant tree. So it's, it's definitely got the makings of something very addictive. Um, and I, as of yet, haven't found a way to unlock the I'm just going to place this here. More stone. Yeah. It's amazing. It looks really good too. Um, I'm a big fan of pixel art. Just shove anything pixel art in my face, isn't it? I'm, I'm pretty pre pleased with it. Kind of looks like... Um, oh goodness. I'm going to forget the name of the game. It's based on Settlers Reprisal. That's the name of it. That's the name of the game. Uh, yeah, I love Reprisal. It's it's very basic and and uses a lot of of Settlers inspired mechanics, but it's just great fun. And this is this looks a lot like it. Yes, there we go. That was optimal placing. Hmm. Now, I'm going to try and get more... Ah, I want more water so I can uh, feed this tree so it grows more. And I would 
I would feed the tree. I need one of those to place down, but I can't afford it. Okay. Uh, place down one of these and clear some space. There we are. Giant tree! I love you, giant tree. You're good for all of the things. Like wood and magic-y, purpley, glowy stuff. Now, how do I get to all the cool stuff that I've missed? So I know I'm, I know I've missed quite a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, like higher tier tiles. There we go. Oh well, I'm sure there'll be. There we go. That cleared that out. And then. Nice. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I didn't find my way to uh, unlocking any of the more shiny things in the game. But still, I think it's an amazing game. It's really well constructed. And for a Ludum Dare game, it's really well thought out and planned. And there's a lot. The open end. Op the litter. The open ending to the game just. You know, lets you mess around with the mechanics uh, and really get a feel for it. There's a, a, a really good sense of discovery when you start off the game, and I think that's a really cool thing to have. It doesn't give you a tutorial or anything. Um, it just lets you mess around with the tiles, and and you will you'll start off with an absolutely appalling looking place like I do right here. But you also end up with some very pretty things like these trees. And, and the mountains that I have failed to make. Hang on. No, I bugger that up. <laughs> there we go, a mountain. I finally made a mountain uh, out of smaller rocks. That's, that's how you make mountains, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I will leave links in the description to where you can check out this game. Uh, as I say, it's a very small game, so just mess around with it. And, uh, oh, I've got a cool idea. Uh, send me pictures of your uh, of your precious lands, because I think that would be really cool to just share and and see what you come up with. Hopefully hopefully you can see the, uh, the more or f a little further stuff in the game. That would be awesome. So thank you for watching again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.